Now, the first misconception we have is if I reboot my Fire Stick or Fire TV, as you can see exactly what's happening on my device, once the reboot completes, you'll think that nothing will be running in the background. But unfortunately, with these devices, things are set to start as soon as the device wakes up or reboots. And you can see on my device, without any editing, I'm not going to cut this video. I just want to show you that as soon as I log in on a freshly uh, booted or rebooted device, let's see exactly what's happening on my device. So if I go down into uh, home, if I go over to the background apps and process list, I can now click on that. And would you believe it guys, five applications already open in the first few seconds. And if I just use my device for another few minutes, more things would then open in the background. So that's probably the first thing that people don't understand that they think as soon as I reboot my device, then everything should be permanently stopped. Unfortunately, things are not permanently stopped until you do that full stop. That's the first one. Let's press the home button. The other one is using the application, the fast task killer, which is a great application, but it only targets foreground applications. So foreground applications are the ones that run um, in the foreground, but the ones that the TDUK app killer focuses on and the ones that we see with the background apps and process list is the background applications. And they're the ones that are permanently consuming memory until you full stop them. So just to check again, we can see on my device, I now have six things open in the background. If I press the home button, if I go over to the fast task killer, one click, we can see it looks like a lot of stuff has been closed. If I now press the home button, if I now go back into the background apps and process list, again, I'm not editing anything. I just wanna make sure you guys can see in real time if I now go back into here, we have seven things open, guys. So it hasn't really made any difference to these applications running in the background. Now, if I go home, the last misconception is using the double tap home on the Android TV devices. So let's now jump over to that device. Here we are. So we can see if I press the home button, let's double tap home. Looks like I have three things running in the background. I can press down. I mean, you can see even here, it says dismiss. It doesn't actually say for stop or properly close. I can now click on this, double tap home again. And we can see now it says no recent item. So again, you'd assume that I have nothing running in the background, but again, why is my device running a bit sluggish? Why is my device running low in memory? Well, lo and behold, if I open up the background apps and process list, even though once again, you can see guys, no recent items. When I open up this application, I have 12 things running in the background. If I click on refresh, yeah, I have 12 things running in the background. And this is where exactly the TDUK app killer comes into effect because we can see now when I add this application, which is available directly on the Google Play Store and the Amazon App Store, we can see here when I add this in, when I open this up, I can make a connection. Just make sure you've got TCP or USB debugging enabled on your device. I can select this option here if I want to keep my VPN running. Let's untick that for now. We can see here we have 12 things now running in the background. Let me just double check that again. We have 12 things running in the background so you can see it does properly tally up. And now when I click the back button and now open up the app killer, I make that connection. I just click on full stop all apps and we can see in less than a second, 11 of those applications have now been killed on my device. And I know that because when I click on full stop all apps, it now says zero, click on exit and go back in here, which is the moment of truth. We can see on my Nvidia Shield Pro, there's only one application running in the background. So hopefully that clears up some of those misconceptions about foreground applications, background applications, what truly full stop means versus just running a fast task killer, which doesn't properly stop those applications unless you manually go and full stop them. Or if you want to take advantage of the TDUK app killer, you can now go ahead and do that with one click. And as mentioned, this application is available on your Amazon app stores and Google play stores. The application costs 199, you buy it once 
and you get a license to cover all of your devices for the same platform. So I bought this on my Nvidia Shield Pro, which means I can now install this on my Chromecast or on my Dynalink box or on my Xiaomi Mi box. Even if I have 50 Android TV devices, that one license will cover all of them. So really appreciate your support. The next version of this application where you can manually whitelist the applications you want whitelisted should be hopefully coming in the next couple of weeks. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this application and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.